morning guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Before Portland pops off, we figured we'd bring you a little uh, looniness from Arizona. The, uh, the gun grabbers are out on the corner of 101 and Bell this morning in their orange for, uh, you know, ready to surrender their rights to the government for their false sense of security. So we're going to come out and talk to them a little bit. Luckily, this is right down the street from me. So I woke up this morning, saw this. <laughs> Called my friend Mike, who's literally my neighbor. And was like, get dressed, we gotta be out there. Morning, ladies. Hi, Franklin. No more silence and gun violence. Whoa. Yeah, schools are also gun-free zones. You notice most shootings happen in gun-free zones? So we need to get rid of the gun-free zones, allow the people the right to protect themselves, right? Do you guys like my shirt? Do you guys like my shirt? It says, I don't know if you can see it, make our guns illegal, we'll just call them undocumented. Undocumented guns. What's up, Franklin? How are you? Franklin's actually a really cool dude. He's just a little confused. <laughs> just kidding, Franklin. So can I just ask you a, a serious question, ladies? And I'm not, I'm not trying to like be, you know, aggressive or anything. I just, I'm just here for conversation. I'm just curious. So, for example, drunk driving accidents, right? Do we stop drunk driving incidents by banning all sober drivers? If we ban sober drivers, will that stop drunk driving accidents? Yes or no? Do, do we have laws about drunk driving? Yes. We're just asking for yes. laws. Yes, we have laws against murder, to too. We're not asking to get There's laws against murder, too. We're to get right? Yeah. Isn't, there law, isn't murder illegal? Pulling a weapon on somebody and pulling the trigger is illegal already. Right? I mean, we can't legislate away evil any more than we can legislate away people making bad decisions by drinking and driving. So we don't make more laws to prevent sober drivers. How about you, young man? What brings you out here today? Okay, gun control now. What does that mean to you? Universal background checks. Um closing the boyfriend loophole. The what? The boyfriend loophole. I can't hear. The boyfriend loophole. Allowing domestic abusers who are not, who are not at one point married to or um, living with or have a child with their abuse or with the person they abuse to still buy guns. Well, if, like, if, you, if you have an, Brady. if you have an, the exists. loophole only applies if you were married at one, at one time married, living no, with, no, or it doesn't. had a child with. No, yes, it does. If you have, if you have an order of protection no, against somebody, they can't, Oh, they can't possess a firearm. They're done when you hit them with facts. No, seriously, young man. I'm just trying to educate you a little bit. If you have an order of protection against you, you cannot legally possess a firearm. The police will literally come to your house and collect your firearm. You cannot buy a firearm if you have an order of protection. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that? Come on, let's walk. Right. So that is true. If you have an order of protection against somebody, they can't purchase a firearm. I don't know where they get these their information from, but you know they put stuff on signs. They have no idea what they're talking about. Come on, Mike. So I, I somebody complained that we never properly introduced you. So. 
this is Mikey. Mikey and I coincidentally live one block from each other. So this morning I'm driving and I'm like, oh my God, Mikey, the gun grabbers are on the corner. Throw a hat on. We must go talk to them. This is right in my neck of the woods too. Good morning. I should have brought the microphone. Anybody have any um, message they'd like to get out? What policy change do you want? What policy change are you looking for? Action! Did you know? Did you know most shootings happen in gun-free zones? Did you know that? Do you believe as a woman you have the right to defend yourself and protect yourself? Pencils not guns! 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 Talk to these kids. Pencils not guns! Pencils not guns! Pencils not guns! Brain damage. Brain dead liberals, guys. This is what we're up against. No points of merit, no message to give, no conviction to stand on, just chance and stuff on a sign that they probably Googled. Hello, young ladies. He apparently likes walls. <laughs> likes so, you don't believe in, in freedom of speech? I do. You don't believe in my right to come out and conversate with people? You're more the right to film. Okay, go do, do your thing. thing. We're going to do our thing. Yes, I'm doing my thing. Which is asking questions that nobody has answers to. Why don't you guys have answers? So, honest question, ladies. Honest question. Do you think... Oh, and I'll put the camera on me. Do you think that the answer... To ending drunk driving violence, drunk driving uh, deaths, is to ban sober drivers. Should we ban sober drivers? Will that end drunk driving accidents? Anybody? No. And I see you worked hard on your sign. Do you have anything to say just to back that up? So if a... If, uh, if, uh, If a student walked in your classroom, or anybody for that matter, walked in your classroom with a firearm to cause harm on students, will the pencils save your life? Can your teacher defend her classroom with pencils? Or bats? No? Nothing. Why doesn't anybody have anything to say? You think if you're out here, you would have, like, you know, your points... Do you believe in gun control? Hi. Hi. My name is Jennifer, by the way. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. I come in peace. I come in peace. I come in peace. Uh oh. Cops came. You guys hate the cops, huh? Uh-oh. One of your little comrades is in trouble. I was just looking at that, actually. I'm not going to let him 
stay there. Yeah. No trespassing. It's state property. People complain about panhandlers being on this road. Right. Before. You guys like my shirt? You like my shirt? If guns become illegal, we'll just call them undocumented. problems. Is it dead? It's flashing. Hold on guys, new gimbal. Are you a teacher? Why can't you people speak? What is wrong with you? Do you know speak English? Oh, I'm always packing. I'm always armed. It is my right to protect myself. Something these fools have know, know nothing about. I should have brought my microphone, but... I don't know if you guys can be down here. It's state property. I think they're moving them. I think they're going to move you in the sun. So what kind of policy change are you looking for, sir? protest your freedom. You understand that, right? You're literally protesting your freedom. We need change. 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 What kind of change? We need change. We need change. We need change. Anybody know what kind of change you need? We need change. We need change. We need change. Yes, we need to stop need gun change. free zones. We need to put an end to gun free zones. How about you, young man? I come in peace. I'm just trying to get, uh, you know, both sides of the story here. What kind of change do you want to see? Ban assault weapon. What is an assault weapon? What is an assault weapon? They're signaling him not to speak to you. So he can't, he can't well, speak for himself. you said ban assault weapons. Can you tell me what an assault weapon is? I don't want to engage. Sorry. Or maybe you don't know the answer. I don't want to Do you think any weapon is an assault weapon? No. What's an assault weapon? I don't want to engage. <laughs> All right, what's our next chance? You should teach them facts instead of chance, ma'am. Facts work better than chance. Facts you can actually think. Okay. And gun violence. Ready? One, two, three. And gun violence. 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 Yes, parents need to teach their children about the res the enough is to enough. respect enough life. Is enough. Enough is enough. Do you think enough the fact that we enough. have murder enough or abortion enough. on demand enough and enough. that children enough today are growing enough. up? Enough with enough. no respect enough for life. Is enough. To think enough that, is that you know a uh, human is fetus enough. is just enough a you know a enough. clump of cells and there's no respect enough for human enough. life. Enough is Do you think that plays enough in a role into enough. the uh, the gun violence? No, honest question. Do you think that children are being raised that to think that abortion is health care, that abortion is uh you know, a woman's right to murder her baby, do you think that that plays a role in the children growing up thinking it's okay to take other human beings' lives? Ma'am, do you think abortion plays a role that we're teaching children 
that it's okay to murder their unborn babies? Do you think it's okay that we teach children? They gotta go. What on the left and right corners? No trespassing. No trespassing. This is state home. Okay, it's owned by the state of Arizona. They prosecute on every instance of trespassing. The state also provides a sidewalk, right? The sidewalk for good people is to pass by respect, yes? You can be on the sidewalk all day long if you want. Not to even leave up the fear that we're going to be setting up a camp or anything. Don't do so. Don't let them have this camp at all, okay? Let's go back to the other corner. Please don't contribute to any of the here. Obviously, even this area, I give this I do have patience because, I mean, what else can you do with these people? You know, they have nothing, nothing. And they don't allow their, you know, they don't allow people to talk to you. I think that's what's annoying too, is that you ask them a question, a legitimate question, and they're just silent. This is literally five minutes from my house. Question, ladies, do you think children growing up? Have a beautiful day. We're, we're gonna be over here. I know, I know. You guys refuse to accept any facts. Do you think children growing up thinking it's okay to murder unborn babies plays a role in the fact that that kids have no respect for life anymore? Do you think that plays a role that we glorify abortion now? That children are growing up with no respect for human life? Like, that's an honest question. Right? Like, children should grow up respecting life. That all life is precious. That all life is a gift. But children aren't. They're growing up with, you know, lack of parenting, lack of God, lack of decency. I'm just curious why nobody has anything intelligent to say. You just hold up a sign and think that, that you're changing minds. If you think, uh, you know, that you can legislate away the evil of gun violence, change my mind. How about you, Franklin? Second Amendment, I'm, I'm with the Second Amendment. All, all they need to do is the background check. That's it. But we already have background checks. Yeah, they, they're trying to get the universal ones. Like, you know, they go to gun shows and they go to purchase the firearm and they sell it to them without doing any background. So if I sell a gun to my son, I'd have to send him in for a background check? Like, how would that even work? No, if he's, he's not a convicted felon, you know, it's, it's okay. If you're the owner, you know, you're, 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 you're the you son of the Right. So it's a transfer of property, right? So a lot of places like like if a gun shop sells a gun to someone with a with a criminal record, they get prosecuted. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously that's. And the gun shops, they don't want to make those mistakes selling the gun to someone. Who right. Has and have you ever have you ever bought a gun? I I I I, I have uh, gone to the Scottsdale Gun Club. I did my CCW test. Uh, Only a matter of background check. That's Have you ever like, not been background checked? You're doing a, a, a firearm. Uh, you know, you're doing a class, or you're, uh, you're doing you're out, out at the range, and someone comes who isn't able to have a gun. Danger! They hit you. So, if I sold my son a knife, would I have to background check him too? 
a knife is, is different because you can use that as for hunting. Uh, Same with a gun. Yes, exactly. It's <laughs> like for the farm, but a farm, you know, it's a good one. Too. So it's a fine line. Do you think we can legislate away evil? Oh, yeah. Do you think that we can make laws to prevent... Because murder is already illegal, right? Oh, yeah. You know, like, they're trying to take away guns from U.S. citizens. No way. Yeah. But they're trying to change the rules and make the law. Right. So through the background, and it's cool, you know, but not take away our, our guns. Good. Guns. Good. Good talking to you, Franklin. Franklin's a good guy. I think I got pictures. <laughs> Do you think we can legislate away evil? Do you think we can legislate away evil? Like we can make a law that stops people from being evil? Yeah, I know she wants to answer. Do you think we can? Honest question. Like, I'm just here for conversation. I think people always find a way to do the wrong thing. Right. But I don't think that means we should stop trying. I mean, we have laws about what you're allowed to bring on the airplane. Right. And What action? So your sign says we demand action. Yeah, some action. Let's come together, both sides, all the sides. Let's come together. Let's talk about what we think will work. Let's hit it from all the sides. There isn't one solution. I don't think a law is going to be the end all of gun violence. I don't. Right. I know that people are going to find it. Right. But let's come together as a community and figure out what are some ways we can make our safer. Are there different layers, you know? And I do think that legally we have to come at it in a way that keeps guns away, makes it harder. I think we're not ever going to be able to keep guns away, away, but let's make it a little harder for people who want to do harm to get them. Let's make them harder to get them. What do you think about gun-free zones? So, you know, so many shootings happen in gun-free zones where the majority of the population in the gun-free zone is unarmed. And then a killer comes in with his yeah. gun that most likely he's obtained illegally and kills a bunch of people. I don't think most shootings are in gun free zones. I disagree with that. Sure, school shootings are. Um, but the El Paso shooting wasn't in a gun free zone. Right, it was in a Walmart. shooting wasn't in a gun free zone. There's a lot of shootings that aren't in a gun free zone. I think it's an attempt to make a difference and it's, it shouldn't end there. There should be other attempts. Nobody hunting needs an assault rifle, you know? What is an assault rifle? Something that can shoot X, I know the definition is scary, but something that can shoot, you know, more than a certain amount. Let's come to, let's figure, let's define that first of all, and then let's limit the access of it. Limit it. Limit the access. Like, I think if you're a hobbyist and you love that and you want to go to the gun range, you should be allowed to do that. I don't think... Well, like, I own a rifle. It's, I mean, any weapon is an assault weapon. Anything that you can assault somebody with would be an assault weapon. That definition, you can call the car. Right, exactly. I'm talking about things that can shoot, you know, many rounds per minute. That can but do you more can't damage. shoot your rifle any faster than you can shoot nope. a 9mm. No, nope. one trigger pull, and I pull the trigger one time, one it fires pressure. one round. Fully automatic rifles are illegal, so that's not a so that's not an issue. Right, they're already illegal. So, like, if I shot this handgun and I shot my rifle, uh, the same amount of bullets are coming out, depending on the magazine. Depending on the magazine capacity, but one trigger pull, one round fired, so they don't come out, you know, super fast because they're in a rifle. And then you gotta think of it this way, like if six people jumped my back fence with with weapons in their hands to come and break into my home, you know, this 10 round magazine and this pistol is not gonna save me. My rifle with a 30 round magazine is gonna, is, I'm gonna have a fighting chance to fight back. It actually just happened like 10 months ago in a house in uh, by Arcadia. Five men with pistols drawn jumped the back fence of this home and it was all caught on, on security footage. I just think we need 
need to come together and, and figure it out. I don't think any one person is going to make it. Right, but there's always going to be killing, right? There's been killing since the beginning of time. We're not going to be able to legislate that away. What we need to do is come together as parents and how we're raising our children. And, you know, these children are growing up with no respect for life. We've got glorified abortions. We've got state leaders that, and celebrities, right? Celebrities that uh, glorify abortion. Wasn't it Miley Cyrus that was licking the cake? Um, that said abortion is my right or something like that. Like these are what children look up to, right? So children are growing up thinking it's okay to, to, to murder an unborn baby. So I feel like we're, you know, desensitizing our youth and, you know, the graphic video games with the murder and the killing. Children are playing those younger and younger and younger. That, and we've taken God out of school. We've taken God out of the house. These children are growing up with no respect for life. I think it starts at home before it starts in the legislature, don't you think? Would you agree with that or no? I think we need to admit it from all sides. <laughs> right, but it always starts at home. How are you raising your kids? Are you raising your kids to respect life? So, like, you know, if we want to stop drunk driving accidents, we're not going to make it harder for sober drivers to get access to cars. You know? It's the same thing with, with guns. And I just think, you know, these groups like the March for Our Lives and Moms Demand Action, all of them, you guys are willing to, to trade your freedom, surrender your freedom to the government for this false sense of security that... You know, a new gun law is gonna is gonna save you, and it's just that's not true. But thanks for talking to me. <laughs> so her and I just had a great conversation. I'm just confused why nobody has anything that they want to stand up and say. Like this is your chance. Tell us you have. 400 people watching right now. This video will probably get, oh, I don't know, about 50 to 100,000 views. Please. So, this is your chance to, to give your message. Like, do you think that you're, you're, you're willing to trade your freedom for a false sense of security here? Do you think guns save lives? How about you? Do you think guns save lives? Franklin does. Franklin thinks guns save lives. How long does it take for, uh, for you to get your gun rights back in Arizona? Um, I don't know. I've never lost my gun rights. It takes about 10 years. Really? And then in, in back east in New York State, you got to get a certificate of good conduct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, somebody I know... You know. Somebody who got their gun rights back and then, you know, they got a record, it makes it even harder for them to go to things that are going on. Yeah, well, you know, I can respect that. It's like, you know what I mean? If you've broken, if you're a convicted felon, convicted of like a violent crime, then I can see that, right? Like to me, that's common sense. Some people get them taken away when their ex wife or girlfriend lies to a judge. True, true story. <laughs> that was a patriot. They make you go through a psychiatric evaluation assessment for firearms that uh, they impose from the uh, locals, you know, that makes it even harder for someone to get a gun. But the background checks, it's the same thing to do, you know, and that keeps even people who are getting their gun rights are still keeping up from doing something. Right, right. I want to talk to this one. He's so agitated. Do you think guns save lives? Do you think guns save lives? So what is gun control to you? What does that mean? Come on, give me one. Give me one comment. What do you guys think?
think of Arizona's constitutional carry laws that I can literally carry this firearm openly and proudly wherever I go that doesn't have a, a no firearm sign. That's what's great about Arizona, guys. Is, uh, you know, we can open carry here. We can open carry and, uh, you know, it makes them, makes them a little comfortable. What do you think of Arizona's open carry laws? Do you want to do away with that? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you going to cry? I'll take it off of you. Are you alright? Do you need something? Do you need some water or anything? Alright guys, there you have it. Again. No facts. Aside from Franklin and the other young lady in the hat. Nobody's willing to, to stand behind their, their beliefs and speak up for what, what's on their sign. You know, they, they cut and pasted their signs together. They put on their orange shirts, but they have nothing to, to back up what they're, what they're standing out here for. You know, I don't know. If I was standing on a sign, I was standing on a corner with a sign, and someone asked me, what I was doing out here, I would, you know, say it loud and proud. But I just, I don't think, I think they're confused. I think they're confused and they're teaching children that guns are evil rather than teaching their children, um, you know, to respect life. So, all right, guys, we are out. We have things to do. Bye, Franklin. So there you have it, guys. They, they, you know, they, they have nothing to say. Absolutely nothing. So, all right, we are out of here. Unless you want to run across and talk to that one. We can get to the other side of the street. Nope, too hot. All right, guys, we're out.